Yeah, I mean, we obviously didn't start very well with the bat and, and, and probably didn't assess the conditions uh, well enough. Um, you know, Australia bowled very well and there was a little bit in the wicket um, in those first few overs, but, um, you know, we weren't able to soak that up and, and put a competitive score on the board. It was probably like a... I don't know if it was a... 160, 170 wicket, but if we could have scrapped that way to 140, it might have been a chance. No, I think we would have had a bet <laughs> on that, but, um, you know, we we didn't assess the conditions. We pride ourselves on um, assessing the conditions a bit quicker, and today we weren't able to do that. Yeah, I thought, thought bowled ball very well, and, and obviously two big wickets um, in this first two balls set the tone for um, for their innings um, and our batting innings. Um, you know, I think he's bowled very well and very consistent over the big bash, and given the opportunity here, like it wasn't a it wasn't a quick wicket, um, but uh, you know he bowled very well with some good pace, and um, you know he's going to be uh, someone to watch out for in the future. That's for sure. Yeah, I think you just got to um, back yourself and, and your judgment that you're doing the right thing at the same time and, and try and eliminate those dot balls. And, and every time we lost a wicket, we, we had to rest, um, try and hold back and try and take it as deep as possible. But, um, you know, thought Colin de Gromholm, uh, apart from his first ball, batted very well and, and showed the class. Um, you know, he's only played probably half a dozen to a dozen games and um, you know, it's not exactly the smallest boundary out there and he um, cleared it with these. I can't really tell you what he really said. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, it was a very, very good ball, and um, I'd like to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.